grade 10 student so in this video we are going to continue with a manufacturing so i think this one is going to be part two or part three if you have been watched part one please make sure that you go and watch so that you can see the introduction of this chapter so however in this question paper that we are going to do today uh, we are going to do some of the calculation which are very important when you write your paper two all right let's go straight to the question Amen. Bo Dawat Wat own a small manufacturing enterprise. Um, Bohemia's custom made furniture. Okay, I can't read those those names you know, due to, to different language that we are using. So it's not English name. Alright. They said in January 2018, uh, they hid mistress in Hellview Primary School. Mrs. Jafta requested Amen to make a 40 special table, okay, for the new art center at the school. So basically, uh, in a summary, guys, this is the company uh, that is producing uh, tables. So they got a request that they must do 40 table, okay. So this 40 table that they are going to do. Remember, they are, this is the business that produce and sell. Okay, required. Use the information provided below to complete the following calculation. Number one, direct material, labor, prime cost, total production, and cost per unit. Okay, that's what we are going to calculate. I think we need to start uh, with number 3.2.1. They said we have to calculate a direct material cost okay it's three marks information number a they said material cost to manufacture a table we have a wood steel a structure nut a bolt and screws ne? okay we have a glue wood oil and paint all right information number b we have a Amen works from a small factory in Actonville and pay a rent of 11,000 per month. Okay, so information number A is the one that can assist us to calculate a direct material cost. Okay, they didn't say cost per unit. If they said cost per unit, uh, we were going to be given um, maybe, for example, that one glue it was costing 20 rand. Then we have to multiply by number of units produced, which is 40. Okay. But in this case, they already give us the cost of wood. They said it's 16,000. Okay. Information number A. All of them. Okay. Plus 5,500. Plus 1,100. Plus a glue is 300. Plus wood is 500 plus 600 of paint. All of them, they are direct material. Material cost that has been used to produce a, a tables. Okay, if you add all of these, uh, you will get amount of 24,000. Okay, 3.2.2, we have to calculate a direct Direct labor. Direct labor are those who are producing the table. Okay, let's take information. Information number D. They said 250 is paid to casual employee for each table produced. Each employee, guys, was getting 250 and the unit produced is 40. Which means that if we multiply this, we will get amount of 10,000. Of direct labor just like that and it's only two marks the second one the third one 3.3 3.2.3 they are looking for prime cost guys the formula of prime cost is direct material plus direct labor just like that big already guys if you get this one correctly you're gonna get this one correctly but if you do mistake here 
this one is going to to be wrong okay it's going to be 24000 plus 10000 then you're going to get 34000 just like that okay 3.3.3.2.4 uh, we have to calculate total production cost total production cost guys this is the formula that you have to use we have to say direct material material plus direct direct labor then again plus factory factory overhead okay so that's what we need to add in order for us to get what a total production okay now let's check we already have direct material uh, which is costing uh, 24,000 we also have direct labor which is costing 10,000 how about factory overheads do we have any let's check the transition that we have okay we have a rent of 11,000 yes 11,000 of rent is for under factory overheads and the other one we have a his bill for water and electricity for January. It was one thousand eight hundred. Yes, it's fall here, and uh, we don't have any other transaction, which means that we must add this, and uh, we will get uh, the amount of forty six thousand eight hundred. Okay, simple guys. This chapter is most simple chapter that you are going to get in accounting okay then uh, they say we have to calculate unit cost of one table one table we know that total table they costed us forty six thousand eight hundred. but because we are looking for one we must divide by how many units we produce okay and we will get amount of one thousand one hundred and forty this is what um we have to get in order for you to get everything correct in this chapter guys this chapter is most simple chapter so prepare it when you write paper two thank you so much if you have been watching until here guys and i believe that you subscribe so that the more this channel is growing the more we publish many videos for you and for those who want to join extra class they're still available join guys it's gonna help you a lot to develop and enjoy accounting up to grade 12. So join us guys in time. And also guys, those uh, who will watch this video later, maybe when the test is tomorrow or exam is tomorrow, just know that when you go to grade 11, on 4 of January, we are reopening uh, our classes and they will be resuming. So just join us in time so that you will learn in advance okay it's only 100 rand every month it's very cheap okay so and also the issue of study guide guys also remember we have a soft copy study guide which we are selling it by only a hundred rand so that everyone can be able to to afford the the, the study guide contain um different questions and memorandum and answer book as well so it's going to train you uh, to be prepared when you write a test and examination. I will see you on the next video.